right, we got uh, Tony Syracuse on the line from Last Word on College Football. We're breaking down the game we all love as hardcore college football fans looking at UCLA position by position. Help us build the channel with the best debate, discussion, and analysis online by grabbing the Amazon link in the description section below, doing your shopping using that link. We've got two exclusive live streams. You can grab that link as well each and every week. Two exclusive live streams for you with me talking to you directly on your viewer comments and then also bringing you on to discuss college football with me. All right, Tony, let's look at this offensive line, which uh, if you take it at uh, both ends of the experience scale, meaning Sean Ryan, a prized incoming freshman, uh, Boss Tagaloa, senior center, well entrenched at that position, which is vitally important. You're in good shape there. Uh, round out the rest uh, for us as well. Yeah, you bring up a good point. They've got a lot of game experience, uh, starting with Boss Tagaloa, as you as you point out, is clearly not only because he's the center, but but because he made such an impact last year when he moved from defensive line to center, um, he is the anchor of that offensive line. Um, they've got a lot of game experience. They don't necessarily have a lot of depth beyond the starters. Um, there was a huge improvement in 2018. And, and again, it started with Tagaloa moving from defensive line to center. Now he missed the first three games of the season due to disciplinary action. Um, once he came in, they developed a running game. Now it's, it's, we also talked a minute ago about how Joshua Kelly really started, uh, hitting his stride and his numbers in week three. There, there, this is not a coincidence. You know, you get Tagaloa at center, you get some gelling of the offensive line, you get Joshua Kelly really putting in the work at practice and, and, and hitting his stride as a running back. And all of a sudden, you've got a running game at UCLA for the first time in several years. Their rushing average went up by 40 yards per game last year over 2017. That's a significant increase from one season to the next. A lot of credit goes to offensive line coach Justin Fry. He's actually now also, in addition to being the offensive line coach, he's also the offensive coordinator this year. Chip Kelly will clearly still have a role in calling the plays, but Justin Fry is the offensive coordinator now. So you're returning Tagaloa, you're returning tackle Jake Burton, and guards Chris Murray and, and – um, Michael Owls from last year. So a lot of game experience. Murray started all 12 games as a freshman last year, uh, the first three at center and then nine at guard. Uh, you've got Burton, who started uh, 11 games last year as a redshirt sophomore. And then you've got Owls last year, who started every game. Actually, he started every game the last two seasons. So a lot of experience there with those four. Now, where do you go from there? You've got Alec Anderson, you've got John Gaines. They have game experience, but are they good enough to start? You brought up Sean Ryan. He is the prize recruit of the of this year's recruiting class for Chip Kelly. And a lot is, is expected of him. He's a tackle, four-star recruit out of San Juan Capistrano, huge kid, 6'4, 325 pounds was on the Army All-American game. It is very conceivable that if he performs well at, uh, during the summer workouts and then in fall camp, which, of course, starts really mid to late summer, uh, that he could wind up being that other tackle. If he can do that, and really that would be an ideal situation for UCLA, even though he lacks experience, you've got enough experience with the other four positions that if you can plug him in there and then you've got Anderson and Gaines experience as depth, because you really don't have a lot of game experience depth beyond that. You're thin in offensive line. But if you can have Anderson and Gaines as experienced depth coming off the bench as needed, I think that's the best case scenario for UCLA. It's, again, it's going to require this freshman to live up to expectations in camp. And, you know, it's not easy um, when you're coming in with a very experienced offensive line and, and 
fitting right in because, you know, a lot of coaches like to say that offensive line is like a glove. You know, you need all all five of the fingers to to mesh together, to blend together for it to work. So can Ryan fit into that glove right away? If he can, that's the ideal situation for Justin Fry, the offensive line coach, because then you have some experienced guys that you can use in reserve instead, instead of having to rely on a freshman coming off the bench. But Cody, we, I apologize. <laughs> no, but I was just gonna I was just gonna say, but but at least there are signs of life with the offensive line for the first time in a few years. Tony, I'm gonna go on a campaign for offensive linemen. Maybe next offseason we'll do nothing but offensive line previews. I just think that these guys get totally shortchanged. It's uh, as a unit to me, the most important unit on the field. We need to come up with stats probably for these guys with so much fantasy focus on everything. And everybody's got stats except for these guys. These guys have no stats that anyone tracks at least or uh, is out there in the mainstream. But uh, it is uh, an extremely important unit. And when these guys get recruited and when they get drafted, their names are out there and people care. And in between when they're actually playing football at uh, the collegiate and NFL levels, then everybody forgets about them and just assumes that um, things will get cleaned up up front and we uh, focus on where the ball's going. Look, I don't think there's any question, especially you look at a case like UCLA, which obviously, you know, you've got to improve off that three and nine last year. You don't have a successful Joshua Kelly without an improved offensive line last year. You also have Dorian Thompson Robinson as the you know, likely starter in his second year at quarterback, but you don't have any game experience quarterback behind him, which means you are one turned ankle away from having, you know, a, a, a complete rookie coming in as, as a backup quarterback. That tells you how critical that offensive line is in creating a running game, protecting the quarterback, these guys gelling and Boss Tagaloa doing his job and, and Murray and Burton and Ryan and all these guys stepping up will mean everything to UCLA season. We continue to march through UCLA football on the offensive side with Tony Syracuse from Last Word on College Football, position by position. Help us build the channel by uh, grabbing the Amazon link, uh, doing your Amazon shopping using that link, and also join me for two exclusive live streams each and every week. More information on that. Uh, we will not waste your time here, but grab the link, go to the live streams. Uh, you will not be disappointed.